Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD6770 Ice QX Turbo 1GB GDDR5 video card. Now, this is a pretty common looking box for HIS. So if you've seen them before, it's nothing spectacular. If this is the first time seeing the box, well, it is rather cool. It has all of the information that you require if you are picking it up in store, like the features and specifications about the product. There are two security seals, one at the top and another one at the bottom. I will open the one at the top, why not? We have a box within a box. Now, let me open up this one. Now let's have a peek inside. One six pin power connection. This end gets connected into the video card and these two ends into the power supply. Here's a DVI to VGA adapter, or if you prefer, dongle. A free copy of the Dirt 3 game. Hmm, nice. And all kinds of other goodies here. A CD with drivers and other stuff on it. Manual. And a case badge. And this is what you've been looking forward to the card throw everything else away and get to the video card please plastic case pretty common for his video cards works very well top comes off video card laying on a bed of foam to protect it now let's have a closer look at this video card. This video card has a PCI Express interface of 2.1 and it's based on the Jupiter Core which is built on the 40 nanometer manufacturing process and has 1040 million transistors. This is well considered a budget video card in respect to gaming but of course if you're using this for a home theater pc setup or anything like that multiple display setup and you're not into gaming this is pretty on the high end so it kind of depends on you know what you're using it for for gaming though the 6800 series and the 6900 series certainly would top this now considering that this is a 6700 series video card the cooler that they include is is very impressive. It's comprised of a plastic top with a rather large fan. It also has lots of heat sinks, heat pipes, and the base comes in direct contact with the GPU but not the memory. There are four video connections, two DVI, one HDMI which fully supports 7.1 channel audio and a display port. At the top is one Crossfire bridge connection so a maximum of two video cards in a Crossfire configuration is possible. Only one six pin power cable connection is required and the maximum power consumption is 66 watts. So while not a lot of power is needed I'd still recommend a brand name quality power supply, especially in a multiple video card crossfire configuration. The core speed on this product is 880 megahertz and the one gigabyte of GDDR5 128 bit memory is five gigahertz DDR. It comes with 800 stream processing units for vertex, pixel and geometry data, 40 texture units and 16 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 14.1 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 35.2 gigapixels per second. And the memory bandwidth is 80 gigabytes per second. This product has too many technologies to cover in detail in this video, but let me mention the main ones. It has TerraScale 2 unified processing architecture for physics. Image quality enhancement allows sharper scenes. 
stream acceleration technology to run applications faster. Crossfire X multi GPU technology allows dual, triple, and quad GPU scaling and power play power management technology, which enables low power consumption at idle. It also has Ifinity technology, which enables many displays to be connected at once. For example, three displays can be connected simultaneously, which is an incredible amount of desktop real estate. While the other technologies are impressive, DirectX 11 really stands out, especially amongst gamers. This image clearly shows the difference between DirectX 10 and DirectX 11. DirectX 11 allows more eye candy because it gives game developers the tools required to produce mind-blowing graphics, effects, and much more. Additionally, iSpeed technology helps you enjoy beautifully rich and clear video playback when streaming from the web, take in your favorite movies in stunning shutter-free HD quality, run multiple applications smoothly at maximum speed, and enjoy lightning-fast gameplay and realistic physics effects. There are a few new technologies offered by the HD 6000 series GPUs and they include multi-display technologies, in particular DisplayPort 1.2 which is a new display interface, boasts features such as higher bandwidth and daisy chaining capabilities, stereoscopic 3D, the introduction of high refresh rate LCDs 120Hz and higher have inspired new stereoscopic 3D display devices for the PC and the CE markets, namely Blu-ray 3D support and of course 3D gaming support and supports enhanced color gamut remapping for wide color gamut displays. Now let's have a listen to the video card's fan at different fan speeds. Remember the video card driver sets the fan speed automatically but it can be set manually. Okay, this is certainly not the fastest video card on the planet, certainly when it comes to gaming. However, if you want this card either for a budget gaming rig, or maybe you want it for a budget gaming rig, but also maybe some kind of a dual monitor setup, or a home theater PC setup, for that, well, it would be almost perfect. Overall, this is a great product. Until next time, take care.